and footwork. In other words, ball control. When we are teaching the young hockey players, make sure that regarding their stance, they are on their, on their toes, knees are flexed, upper body is low. Footwork, feet are shoulder width apart, neither too wide, neither too close, well balanced body. Holding the stick, left hand the top, look at this V, right hand down, again a V, index finger like this. In hockey, left hand does all the work, right hand plays the sporting role. Right hand down over here, look at this V, thumb and index finger, this finger has to be like this, low um, um, knees flex in front and make sure that the kids have the skills and not only this knows which dribble to apply in a given game situation whether it is the offensive situation defensive situation or playmaking situation so he knows which dribble which skill to apply when where and why in today's lesson we're going to learn about stick work and footwork, in other words, ball control. Stick work and footwork, in other words, ball control. When we are teaching the young hockey players, make sure that regarding their stance, they are on their, on their toes, knees are flexed, upper body is low. Footwork, feet are shoulder width apart, neither too wide, neither too close, well balanced body. Holding the stick, left hand the top, look at this V, right hand down, again a V, index finger like this. In hockey, left hand does all the work, right hand plays the sporting role. Right hand down over here, look at this V, thumb and index finger, this finger has to be like this, low um, um, knees flex in front and make sure that the kids have this grip loose, not firm. If it's firm, then it'll be very hard. Make sure the beginners know how to turn the stick from on a clock from 12 to six anti-clockwise here, here. And then teaching the ball control very slowly, very slowly, very slowly. If you note, the stick is in a straight line and when I bring the ball from left to right, I bring it one quick touch, one. And then after this, to add footwork to the stick work, here we go. Look at the footwork, little baby steps, little baby steps. Make sure they're looking up when doing the stick work and footwork. Please avoid doing this dribble. It's good to build their hand-eye coordination but they are glued to the field and it's hardly a moment when we are glued to the field. If we are like this static, we have to pay the price because we are static and we not move quickly. Now let's watch this dribbling in a slow motion. Please observe the footwork, little stutter steps and you'll hardly ever see me crisscrossing because the moment you crisscross you lose your balance. Balance is so important to cope with the various game situations under pressure, especially the ones where you're in a one-on-one -on -one contest 
either as an offensive player or a defensive player. And balance comes with proper footwork and correct technique. And I would like to show you how the tennis players have the balance. You'll hardly ever see them crisscrossing because they are the prime example of a good footwork. Same with the basketball players, same with the football players. Let's observe this. observe this in slow motion. Please observe Nadal's footwork. Just focus on his footwork. You see that how elegant it is, how he takes little baby steps and then bigger steps, how he is always on his toes. Please observe. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. And we know these all tennis players have specialist coaches who just work on their footwork. Conclusion, please keep in mind the little things which we have covered in this video as little things make big things happen. And watch the footwork, the subtle steps, the baby steps, bigger steps and keep in mind to observe that the young player is always in balance just in case if his feet are too close or too wide bring to his notice so he may feel it that when he's in balance what happens and when he's not in uh, balance what happens this way he is also self coaching himself